Hello, this is Ronald with Indicator Vault. And in this video, I'm going to go over the Supply Demand Pro indicator we have with TradingView. You can see it's here on the chart. And this is a pretty straightforward indicator. You know, supply and demand is uh, one of the most popular ways of viewing the market and marking out zones to trade from. And, you know, what this indicator does is essentially mark them out for you and gives you, you know, already the visual aid to look for where price may be heading towards and even rejecting away from. So for this, I want to first go over some of the settings as they are important to note. Uh, the, this is the default settings. Obviously shows these zones if you would prefer to get rid of any of the weak zones you can uncheck that box you can even uncheck the untested zones uh, but this is also an important one it doesn't come on but if you click that here it shows up here let me first show you what that a turncoat is basically a supply and demand or support and resistance turn the other way so in this instance this was a demand that got broken but now is validated as a resistance zone as a basically a supply zone right so it didn't hold as its original uh you know markup but this zone is still valid to trade from now as a resistance zone. Not everyone is when it gets broken, but this indicator can mark that out for you if you want that visible. Of course, if you have it off, they will not show up. Now, this is an important one, the zone fuzz factor. Default is 0.75. Now, this is basically the sensitivity and the range of the zones that it's going to mark out. So if you do it higher, you're going to get larger uh, zones, as you can see that. Of course, you know, up to 2.75, you're kind of getting into, uh, you know, numbers you're not really going to use that much. These are extremely large zones. Of course, each time you click it, it goes in increments of one. You know, I've found. You know, and you can even do even just this 0.5. As you can see, it got more refined and the colors changed. We even 0.25. Let's see if that changes it at all. Yep. And you see the zones are even smaller, more precise. They are more on the extreme ends of the candle. If you can see, they still hold the top range of the candles that are found on the supply and demand zone but this is the default settings you can change it to you know whatever you prefer you can change some of those to even you know however you prefer as well your zones to be like or based off of and then of course the colors of the zones they all have their own you know purpose because this indicator will look for you know, weak ones where they have been tested and used, but maybe still hold some relevance. The untested ones and then the verified and proven ones. And then, of course, the other way around as well. This does give signals. And you can have the option to change those settings also. Here we see the current one holding. So again, this is a pretty straightforward indicator, you know, already marking out these zones, you're going to want to keep your eye on to trade from. Uh, something I've mentioned before is not just in these zones, but while it doesn't have it marked out, you know, the halfway point, the 50% mark of supply, of valid supply and demand levels, are going to be highly sensitive. So for instance, if I pull up the settings, you'll see that this purple
is this color here is representing an untested supply or you know as, as it's named here the resistance zone so in seeing that there's some liquidity resting above this high can't quite see it because of the cell signal this would be a very specific and precise uh you know price point we want to keep our eyes on so you can mark that out to see price come up into here and see if it'll reject away and you can even use these as take profit levels so just hypothetically if we get into a trade up here well it wants to come back it's going to play off of the next zone the next demand or supply area that's what it's going to seek next after it plays from you know supply it's going to find some sort of demand now it could be this one but this gray box here is representing it's a weak one and one reason that it has it marked out as weak is if we take this entire range well it's extremely close to equilibrium and so once it gets into here into the equilibrium of this entire range it's excuse me actually this is the range it's got this zone marked above it even more so this is in the premium side of the range and so this is a weak zone but it still is a valid um, demand zone to trade from potentially it could play off of here and then shoot up here and then these are the green these are the more valid ones as we can see here the darker green has been untested it has formed and price has not come back uh, to touch it yet whereas this one is the verified zone price has just touched the top of it but if we take the same logic from up here we could find a price point that we believe could be reached if this zone is going to hold we could see something form here at the 50 percent the 0.99151 area and of course these are holding more weight as far as uh, demand zones because they are in the discount of the range so that's essentially it let me get rid of these fibs you know like i said it's a very straightforward indicator it draws these areas for you automatically so handy to have works on all time frames you know you could even let's say you just marked out this zone on the one hour and so you know this box is going to hold some relevance for you and you just go down to the five minute and what do we see on the five minute inside of the fib the zone we just marked out we see another supply range inside of it increasing you know just a, a more confirmation that we can expect some selling off in here this can act as some liquidity as it reaches up into the 1.00126 area and maybe we can see some more selling off and again if you want even more confirmation well you can just get rid of any of the weak zones and not have them show up so you don't even want to mess with trying to discern if they're going to trade off of these weak zones but they are there because they can still hold some relevance and still see some moves away from those areas again you can modify and change these zones however you want you could even just do if you went to the one hour 
and had the fuzz setting on 0.75, the default setting, but then, and you mark out your zones there, but then as you go to the lower time frames, well, let's say you want to get more precise and you can change it back down to 0.25 and make your markups that way. So a, just a great indicator to have that you don't have to mark all of them up. You know, TradingView makes it easy to do so, but just on this five minute alone, look how many zones this is marking up. And this is, you know, just the, the precise um, settings, right? To, to get into the nitty gritty of these areas will take a lot of work, but this indicator does it for you. Great confirmation to have with other ones. Um, you know, not just even ours, although, you know, the things like the natural momentum or the pullback factor works incredible with this, but even just maybe a moving average and see if a moving average, uh, you know, as price is maybe coming up into this zone with a moving average, the 100 or 200 also touching the top of this zone, you know, great confirmation to see the downtrend continue uh, or, you know, really anything else. Fib pullbacks, lots of confirmations to find uh, overlapping with these zones. So that's our Supply Demand Pro on TradingView. And I hope this video was helpful. And until next time, best of luck trading.